In this last lecture in the module on evaluating internal resources and capabilities, we'll talk about how this all comes together so we frame out the key strategic issues. This um, highlights one of the most important elements of strategic analysis. This is the situational analysis, not deciding what to do, but deciding what the possibilities are, what the risks are, etc., the threats, but also then saying, okay, where do we focus our energy? There, as one of the earlier discussion points, we'll, we, just, we talked about how there's so much causal ambiguity. No one really knows what causes things to happen the way they do. In addition, you have all the social complexity. So many things are happening. Where does management, where do decision makers, where do the high paid people, if you will, focus their energy and attention? As a strategic analyst, your job is to focus the attention of senior management on the things that are really important. And I don't mean the things that are important because you think they're important. I mean the things that are important because the analysis that you've done on the external environment and the internal environment, your resources and capabilities, your value chain, your relationship with suppliers, your relationship with, up, with forward distribution channels, your position vis-a-vis -vis your competitors. When all of those things are taken into account, out of all of that activity, what are the things that senior management needs to take into consideration? Those are the key strategic issues. There shouldn't be a lot of them because no one can focus their attention on more than, say, three to five things, maybe a few more. But generally, not too many things. What are the key items? Down in the organization, you can focus on some other operational things, but what deserves senior management attention? A good strategist, a good strategic analyst, is very good at using the analysis of a company, not their opinion, not their opinion, the analysis of a company to focus senior management on the truly critical issues for their long-term success. And there's generally two categories. One is how to issues. How do you meet the challenge of foreign competition? And that's competition not just in terms of, of uh, coming in and selling products, but the whole idea of the global economy and how that is impacting everything along the cost structure. How do you deal with the potential of a, of a competitor starting to cut prices? And that's particularly true of foreign competitors. Um, there's various uh, uh, strategies that are used, one called dumping, where you actually sell the, cost, the price, the product, for less than you paid for it. And there's reasons for this, which we'll talk about um, in, in various scenarios. Um, and that could cause, it, cause you to not be able to sell profitably. How do you reduce high costs? Whenever you have them, how do you prepare yourself if you have to respond with price reductions um, going forward? How do you make sure you grow, you grow your growth, keep your customers happy, keep demand growing? You want your customers not only to be happy, but to come back for more. And how do you make sure that as, they, uh, as your demand base ages, changes their demographics, have different tastes, uh, think about the world in different ways, come from a, maybe a, a Spanish background or from a a Chinese or a, a Asian background, how do those people start coming to your store, which was traditionally, um, you know, like a middle America kind of uh, a white population? How do you make sure you adapt to these changing demographics? You frame issues specific to your organization, related to the value chain, related to your competitive, relative competitiveness, um, re related to all the things, the resources and capabilities you have. How do you Frame those, these kind of questions in the context of, of what you have, your capabilities and your resources, and the marketplace that you're attempting to address. Once you've framed a lot of that out, you also have these should we issues. Should we expand more rapidly? Do we need to grow faster? If you're a restaurant chain, you have the risk. You have a first mover is an important play, place to be. You don't want to come into a marketplace where there's already someone just like you there and have to compete with them. You'd rather be the first one, be settled, learn the marketplace, understand, get some loyal customers. When that other person enters, the other company enters, you are defending your tariff, and you have a, potentially a strong position to do that. Do you want to maybe look, and, and you look at the strategic group map that you've looked at, and you see that your 
Um, you're competing in in, uh, in some differentiated area, but now there's that market is is uh, getting smaller, and maybe you want to move down market and start to sell into larger retail chains, for example. Um, you want to sell instead of just selling through uh, uh, through just a few places that are only in New York and, and Paris and L.A. and that sort of thing. You want to maybe sell in a, in a bigger retail outlet, one that has like Neiman Markets that's sold everywhere or that, have, that are around in many locations or maybe even moving further down market into a North, Nordstrom's or something like that. Or even a Target and down market in that sense. Do you want to take those kinds of steps? Do you want to think about um, how... Customers are moving into some sort of a substitute product of yours. How can you potentially not allow that to happen or offer the same features that the substitute have or differentiate your product in some way that the substitute is no longer a substitute? Do you want to expand your product line? Um, in which, if so, in which areas, which suppliers, maybe your suppliers that you already have relationships with also supply others that you can get access to that product with some of the same relationships you already have, in which case... You have a resource of those relationships and a capability of distributing that. So maybe your supplier will want to push through you. You become his forward channel, push through you some products that they're also manufacturing. And then you might want to be thinking about some area where you're very weak and make sure you put an initiative in place to address the cost structure you have in some part of your business. Maybe there's a, a real weakness there, a vulnerability and you want to ask yourself, do we want to close that business down? Remember, we looked at, at industries earlier, and it could very well be that the industry you're in is not a particularly attractive one over the long term. Perhaps it only uh, addressed one uh, sort of small segment of the population, which is now aging away and no longer comes to visit in your stores. They no longer come there because they're aging out of your marketplace, in which case you have to think about other products and other ways that you can maybe even go into a different industry in some manner. So those are the sorts of issues that as a strategic analyst, remember, not your opinion, but from all the analysis that you've done, what does the analysis tell you? To zero in on those strategic issues that you need to do, you need to deal with, in order for you to sustain long-term your competitive position, grow your revenue, grow your profits, and continue to keep all of your stakeholders, your customers, your suppliers, all of your investors, your bankers, and all of that, Take care of their, their investments and take care of the, of the team and the organization and make sure it sustains itself and succeeds in the long term. And there are various strategies to do that. We'll talk in another module about some of the key generic strategies, we call them, that allow you to be successful in the marketplace. But now you've done the analysis, now you've laid out the issues. And that's the last part we'll talk about internally. Your end product is a series of issues that you feel, as an analyst, the data tells you senior management should be focusing on. We'll see you at the next module.